ladies and gentlemen, there is a highly poisonous plant spreading in the U.S., but spreading exceptionally fast in Colorado. So it looks very similar to hogweed, in all honesty, but it's not hogweed. So it's the plant that they use to execute Socrates can also be in your backyard as the poisonous plant continues to spread throughout the U.S. Poison hemlock is a flowering plant that is part of the carrot family, but can be fatal if ingested by humans or animals. The non-invasive plant was relatively rare until 30 years ago. And this is according to the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. Richard Gardner. So the plant can be found in every state with the exception of Alaska, Florida, Hawaii, and Mississippi, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Poison hemlock is originally, it's not native to the U.S. It was actually brought over here from Europe, and it was considered a garden plant. The biennial plant has firm like leaves, white flowers, which usually begin to bloom between June and August. It can grow up to 10 feet, but more commonly grows to six to eight feet, according to Gardner. Poison hemlock typically grows in Colorado. Also, it goes, like if you go near streams, rivers, roadside ditches, pasture lands and disturbed land, disturbed spaces. So they said that's where you can find it. Hemlock also likes full sun and can grow in partial shade, according to Gardner. It can't handle extreme dry, well-drained soil. The plant can be uh, confused with parsley or wild carrot but ingested could be fatal. This is a very deadly plant, Gardner said. It has alkaloids in the sap to protect it from things, you know, uh, herbivores from eating it. All parts of the plant is poisonous, so it doesn't matter if it's the flower, the stem, the root, the whole thing is poisonous. Eating any part of the plant can result in an uh, attack of one's nervous system, heart, according to Gardner. Most of the time, hemlock is only poisonous if ingested, and people will not get a rash from touching it. So this is according to Cleveland Clinic. But even without eating the plant, Gardner said, there are other ways one can suffer from a reaction. So people should be cautious around it. If you're cutting it and the sap flies into your eyes, or if you have a cut or something, the sap gets in the cut. You certainly can have a reaction, Gardner said. If you chop it down or mow it, down the sap can become airborne and can go in the nose or mouth. If someone thinks they have ingested a poisonous plant, Gardner said, you should go to the hospital emergency room. So here are the symptoms of the hemlock poisoning. Symptoms of the hemlock poisoning can occur almost immediately after ingesting the plant, according to the Cleveland Clinic. Symptoms include sweating, vomiting, um, excessive saliva, dry mouth, rapid heartbeat, restlessness, confusion, muscle weakness, twitching, tremors, and seizures. So, 
and also dilated pupils. In most severe cases, hemlock poisoning can cause delay symptoms like a slow heartbeat, slow blood pressure, muscle paralysis, muscle breakdown, muscle death, kidney failure, and central nervous symptoms, depression. Wow. So for those with livestock, or pets, symptoms of hemlock poisoning typically appear within an hour after the plant is ingested. Animals can die from respiratory paralysis within two to three hours, according to the USDA. Signs the animal has injected, ingested the plant. Tremble, salivation, and frothing a lack of coordination, dilated pupils, rapid pulse, and convulsions. State law mandates that the property owners cut or destroy the prohibited noxious plant. So they said if you see it and it's around you, if like in your yard, you should get rid of it. The Colorado Department of Agriculture lists the poison hemlock as a list C species on the, uh, on the Colorado Weed Act. So depending on the jurisdiction, the plant needs to be either eradicated, contained, or suppressed. Small infestation of poison hemlock can be removed by hand. It's strongly recommended that hands are protected with gloves, arms are protected with long sleeves, and eyes are protected with safety goggles, including um, plants being dug out. So they're saying the entire root, that's how you remove it. So you wanna dig the plant out and lift it up by the root. The plant should be placed in a plastic trash bag. Herbicides are likely the safest option for removal. The native plant weed is susceptible to a wide range of herbicides. Crossbow and Remedy Ultra has the, the best rating of controlling poisonous hemlock. All right. So they said you can use things like Roundup on it. Well, if it does all of that, my recommendation is stay completely away from it. And hopefully you don't have any growing in your yard. Now, they said it is spreading, but in Colorado, they're knowing, they're observing and they know it is spreading exceptionally fast in that state. Y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.